Are you tired of missing open jump shots and tired of selling your teammates? When you came to the right spot, just make sure you sit back and watch every step on how to become a good shooter. Enough of this, let's get right into the step-by-step -step guide on how to become a better shooter. Let's go. Yeah, you got cold like and now hit that like and subscribe button for my boy Barney how to blink you up. Alright, first things first, you want to put yourself in the best position to be able to shoot efficiently. So you got to go to the basics. Let's go to the settings. So for the settings, you just want to do a couple things here. First, you want to make sure you set your shot time visual cue to either push or release. The other two, 2K sped up shooting substantially by getting rid of the delay, where they said so. So set and push are, I mean, so jump and set point are putting you in a really bad position to be able to consistently time a jump shot this year. So you want to be either on push or release. Next, you just want to turn off your shot meter so you could get that 20% shot boost when shooting shots correctly. It extends your green window, so you want to have that off. All right, next thing you want to do, and probably the most important thing you need to do to shoot efficiently this year is you want to gain hot spots. So the easiest way to gain hot spots, in my opinion, and the fastest way is to just go to the street ball, play against Disco because he's the shortest. He's only 5'7". He's easy to shoot over and shoot next to. And you're going to shoot a really high rate against him. All you want to do is a simple method that I like to do to gain hot spots anywhere on the court that you want to. Let's go, let me show you. All right, so all you want to do when you get the ball against him just simply run up the court, call for a screen, hit the screen, they, the other guy never gonna pick up, so you just pull up. You're gonna green most of the shots in here because it's on like rookie difficulty and you just shoot from whatever spot you want to. I think you only need to make like five or 10 shots in that spot. I think it's only five, but after like three of these games of just shooting in whatever spot you want, you should have all your hot spots. I usually get all my hot spots on the three point line first because those are the more difficult, less percentage shots. In the green window or small on the shots, but you can also go for mid ranges, in the paint, or anywhere that you just want a hot spot the fast way possible. All right, next thing you want to do to add on to the hot spots, which is more probably more important than just having hot spots, you want to head over to the art of shooting gym, as y'all see at the top of my big burly build, because I didn't do my hot spot, my lethal spots on them yet. But you want to hop in here, you want to talk to lethal shooter, he go hook you up and let you be able to get some lethal spots. So you just wanna walk over to him, talk to him real quick. He gonna hook you up, he gonna ask you what spots you want the lethal spots on, and then you just click the, your preferred spots. I personally like mines on both wings since I'm more of a ball handler and I shoot from both wings primarily. All you gotta do is hit at least eight shots in each of these spots, and you'll hit. All right, we completed all our shots. As you can see, we we wanted our zones upgraded in the left and right corners, so they both turned purple. Lethal sparks are super essential this year. They greatly raise the green window. I highly recommend. If you shoot in a spot a lot, if you a spot up and you shoot on the wing a lot, put it in that wing. If you a spot up, you shoot in the corner a lot, put it in that corner. If you a guard that you're more on the ball, pick and roll, I recommend putting them on the wings. Or if you a ISO guard and you mainly iso on the top of the key or the one of the wings put it right there get your lethals all right so another very essential thing to shooting is literally what everybody gets and what everybody go to immediately your jump shot your jump shot is very important this year 
as in jump shots and releases this year have different green windows so first i'm gonna start off with every height level first we're gonna start off with under six five all my under six five guards that want to get a good jump shot i recommend y'all this jump shot you want to go with the stephen curry base the upper release you want to go with let me see if i can find it Goran Dragic, and then you want to keep the other one the same because we're going to go full Goran Dragic. Full Goran Dragic with Steph Curry base is a very, very elite jump shot. And another underrated sauce that nobody putting y'all on to really is you want to change the release speed this year. So I've, I know a lot of y'all in 2K21 remember nobody could really use 2K, um, nobody could really use 4-4 speed because they sped it up so much that it was really unusable, untimable. This year is certain, somewhat kind of like that. You can use 4-4 jump shots and be efficient, but since they sped up everything and got rid of the, the um, delay, it's made everything super fast and super uneasy to time. That's why a lot of people are struggling to shoot that mass they jump shot before, because a lot things were a lot slower. So a good fix to that that I found out and a couple other people found out is just change it to either 3-4 speed or even 4-4 speed. If you look at the release speed at the bottom, it doesn't change it's still a plus until you go like see this still even a plus but unless you go to this then it changed but the sweet spot i found is on some jumpers that got super quick releases you could go with the normal or you could go with the quick instead of the very quick so if you can't unlock steph curry base if you don't have a 92 three point rate and a 92 midi another thing or a 91 midi i didn't even know that so another thing that i recommend is you go over to a quick easy simple change of base that's pretty similar but still very effective is the markel folds markel folds is very similar to steph as y'all can see the base don't even look like it changed it's the exact same thing as the steph curry the base is slightly slower so i recommend that you go not go with the normal on this one go with the three fours or you go with the four four if you want but yeah, Markel Fultz or Steph Curry. All you need for Markel Fultz is a 77 midi or three. So you should be able to easily get that one. Now, so for my 6'5 through 6'9 guards, you know, a very elite jump shot this year for you guys is the Ben Shepard base with the Oscar Robson upper. I personally would go with full Oscar. Or you could go with um, the Troy Brown Jr. Second upper release is what... Um, Joe knows actually found out for the community is like a 2k labs tested jump shot where all the highest green windows are in this shot Ben Shepard has the highest green window and looks the most like LaMelo ball from last year Oscar has a very high green window and Troy Brown Jr. has a good high good high green window so you want to go 60 40 on that but I personally like the full Oscar because it reminds me of my jump shot from last year super cool super smooth jump shot high release point easy visual cue like I said, if you want to, you could go a speed low on this one. But for the taller guards, it's like it makes it kind of too slow. Like the 4-4 four, four for taller guards are pretty good. So you could go 4-4 four, four on these. Now let's go to the bigs. All right, for the last and final jump shot, this is for my 6-10 and over builds. My big man out there. I love this jump shot so much, bro. As y'all know, some of y'all may know, I recently made a post score, a shot created post score type build for like the twos and the threes, bro. This jump shot changed my life, bro. Big man out there. I'm really blessing y'all. Throw this on your body effective immediate. I did find this jump shot on YouTube. It actually ended up being very chicken. I'm sorry. I don't remember who posted it. But thank you for the jump shot, my guy. Because this jump shot is butter bean biscuits. So it only get an eight minus speed release. But for bigs, that's really good. What you want to do is instantly max out the speed. You want to go with Jerry Allen up release one. Jaren Jackson up release two. 66 jared allen 34 jaron jackson bro it has a super high release point super easy visual cue you just go off the flick instantly you make everything bro i love this jump shot i'm happy i discovered it happy i found it out from somebody but yeah that's the jump shot for the big man y'all let's go who the fuck is this nigga, bro